Hi and welcome to this new video and this is another video talking about new features in version 1.7 of Velostro and this time I'm talking about leaderboards so one of the things we have in Velostro in, in 1.6 is loads and loads and loads of leaderboards in 1.7 we've decided to really cut that down and our leaderboards are going to be purely based on pilot skill so the only way you can set a time that will go on the leaderboard now is if it's single class or if it's three lap single class so there's no real ch quad tuning you can do anymore to change the speed of the quad to set times it's purely pilot ability alongside that we've changed single class to make it a much more fun quad to fly it's more it's got much more performance uh, it's a really fun quad to fly okay uh, and lastly in multiplayer if you set a fast time and you're flying single class or three lap single class you can still upload times which you cannot do in 1.6 at the moment but in 1.7 multiplayer if you set a fast time and it's single class or three lap single class you can upload it now okay so I'm going to demonstrate the new reporting functionality we have now and you'll hear this as I go across the line three two one. at the end of the first lap I'll try and fly a fairly quick lap here Delta minus 1.862 position 1 okay so that announcement's told me that I've flown 1.8 seconds faster than the fastest time on the leaderboard and I've got position 1 already Delta plus 1.79 position 2 second lap obviously I've eased off now and it wasn't so good Delta plus 1.17, position 2. Three, two. Okay, just shutting the music off, doing that. Okay, so I set my times, and while I'm racing, as I go over the start finish line, it's telling me how I'm doing, so I know whether I need to fly faster or whether I can ease off and fly slower, exactly where I am on the leaderboard with the speed that I'm flying. So it's giving you that feedback, allowing you to know whether you need to push more or not when you're flying your leaderboard times, effectively. Um, if you're flying three laps, then what it does is it takes the time that's on the board for three laps and divides it by three. And then obviously if you fly faster than that every single lap, then your time will be a position one time. So you just it gives you a delta based on you know a third of the lap of the race time because you're flying three laps. Um, so as long as you're always in the green, it will be a position one. As you go over the line at the end, it actually compares your race time to the race time for three laps on the leaderboard. So it does right at the end give you your actual position uh, for how you've done during that three lap race. Okay, so that's the new functionality, that's how it works, um, and it gives you a much better idea of what's going on, and if you were to upload now, you know, with the times that I just did, that would be position one on the leaderboard. Obviously, if there's a competition going on, the leaderboards could be changing quite a lot. So, at the moment, when you start the sim, it downloads the leaderboards at that time. But if there was a competition going on, and lots and lots of people were competing, the leaderboard times could be changing quite dynamically. And so, in order to combat that, we have this download leaderboard button. And what this does is it allows you at any point to say, actually, I think I need to go get new times because they may have changed, just to make sure that I'm doing okay. So you can click this button and it basically refreshes the times. And now it's using the latest times from the leaderboard. So the next time I race, it's given me my timings based on any changes that have happened to position one on the leaderboard or anywhere on the leaderboard because it's 
each lap it's telling me exactly what position on the leaderboard I am compared to its download of the leaderboard times. Okay, so that's it. The last thing I want to just quickly show you is if I drop back out to the main menu, there is a lap time announcement here where you can change how it tells you how you're doing. So at the moment I've got it set to delta time. It can just give you your lap time. So rather than telling you whether you're faster or slower, it will just give you your time in seconds for each lap. But it will still give you your position on the leaderboard as well. And then you've got this option here, which is auto leaderboard time upload. And if you were to turn that on, then as soon as you finish the race, it automatically uploads your time to the leaderboard. You don't have to press the button, it does it for you. So you never have that prospect of forgetting to press the button when you've done a really fast time. Okay, so that's it, and I'll see you on the next video.